Hi, this is Amy Lewis. This is Engineers Unplugged. Hi, this is Amy Lewis, Cisco Marketing, and we're here for another episode of Engineers Unplugged. We've got GS and Josh, and we're here talking about one of my favorite subjects, community. Sharing is caring. They're going to architect this out for us. So Josh, take it away. Thanks again, Amy. So GS, you know, we're here at Cisco Live and we're, we're doing a lot of community related events. Uh, we're getting involved with a lot of the community stuff that Amy's been doing, but our big role has been with the V Brown Bag podcast. You know, and the big key there is sharing is caring, getting people together, sharing knowledge about the technology, the way things have changed. Uh, and with our podcast, of course, enabling certification and professional development. So for this Engineers Unplugged, let's kind of break down a little bit the architecture that you know, we see in community building. All right. And so we'll, we'll get them drawn up here. You can talk us through all the different components and then hopefully everybody at home that's watching, all our viewers, will have an opportunity to find out how they want to interject in the community. Because after all, sharing is caring. Okay? Sounds great. So uh, one of the first things that you look at from a community standpoint is uh, social media. So um, social media encompasses all kinds of things, everything from Twitter to uh, Google Plus. Um, I guess some people use Facebook. Uh, I wouldn't say that one so much from a business standpoint, but um, you got those kind of things. You have um, social events like conferences. Uh, we're right here at Cisco Live right now. Um, everything from these kind of things, VMworld, um, to small things, uh, local events in your community, your UCS user group, uh, VMware user group, um, VBeers, things like that. Um, you've got uh, podcasts. Uh, the V Brown Bag one is an example. Um, lots of community-related podcasts. Um, You've got the uh, VMware Communities Roundtable podcast, Virtualization Security Roundtable podcast, Packet Pushers, um, all kinds of ways that you can interact with uh, the larger community. V Brown Bag is kind of a unique one, though, because it's user-driven. Um, we focus a lot with uh, interactions with, we have the user community present on the V Brown Bag, so that one makes it a lot more unique than some of the other ones. Um, any other ones you can think of, Josh? Uh, yeah, I mean, you got the, uh, like you said, Cloudcast, the Geek Whispers, other great podcasts that really kind of, you know, and, and the, I think the real drive on all of these is that it is based on all of these people. I mean, they are not corporately driven. They're driven by individuals like ourselves who take our own time to, to share information that we've gathered, experiences that we have. Um, I think a, a big one that we didn't list here that we've talked about is uh, like blogs and you know, more static content that gets kind of left Definitely. out and opens up to uh, you know, commentary, uh, allowing people to share like, what they've done and how they've done it. Uh, I know we see a lot of that with the certification track. And I think the biggest thing that you get out of this is it's development. Right, because when you share with someone, like we got me and GS here, when we work together on things, we make everyone around us stronger. And by sharing that knowledge, it makes everybody, you know, kind of rise up and, and, you know, challenge themselves to be better. I know, I think with the V Brown Bag podcast, our success rate of people getting both of their, you know, VMware certifications and VCAPs um, is really high. And we're starting to try to do the same type of thing with the Cisco certifications. Um, like with all of these things like what are you participating in and what's your time look like when you do that um so right now i uh probably the biggest thing for me is i listen to a a whole lot of podcasts um i actually listen at double speed if anybody's uh <laughs> if you if you can't fit your podcast in just find a way to listen faster um the other big one for me is uh blogs um I, I read a whole lot of RSS feeds. Um, that I, I find that a great way. I combine that with Twitter. Um, so whenever I find a blog post that I really enjoy, um, I use that as a jumping off point to either share that with people or um, just reach out to the person that wrote it and either compliment them or ask a question, something like that. And then with the V Brown Bags, um, obviously I listen to those from a podcast standpoint. 
Um, the other thing that I do is uh, I've presented a couple of times and I make a big point of encouraging other people to present because I find that a great way to interact with people. How about you, Josh? Well, anybody that knows me knows that I talk. I talk a lot, but it's really not about feeling like what I have to say is important so much as, you know, well, like this right now, no planning prior to, we just talked briefly and, you know, really trying to guide people into thought process, into sharing and making everybody feel comfortable about being part of one big happy family and feeling comfortable getting on camera, getting on the podcast, you know, and, and drawing people in because the real key is encouragement, right? Showing that everybody that there is value, there's worth in doing it. Uh, we, you know, and, and the more that you're able to to give, you know, they say, you know, uh, if you read it, you learn it once. If you teach it, you learn it ten times. Uh, that may have been incorrect, but close. The the concept is the same. Being able to share with others, you know, definitely improves the the overall community. And and well, it's going to make life a lot easier for you, especially if anything changes in in your life. Uh, back to you, Amy. I love this. I love that we have a community architecture. So the, the it's a little bit oh, of a pyramid scheme. We forgot bacon. Oh. Uh, All right. So and we got to add. Bacon. Yeah, we got to add bacon. Yeah, and the veggie bacon. Got to got to get that. Got to be all inclusive. I don't know so. If bacon is. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the spirit of engineers unplugged, I think we know what time it is. It's community unicorn time. So this is the rainbow. Let's see the community unicorn. Go. Okay. Communi so I'm, we're going to do this in piece part. I drew the horn. Now GS can draw the next piece. And we'll see how minimalistic either one of us can go. All right. And then I'll put a nose on there and some ears and neck. Wow, this is a horrid unicorn. All right, and we'll put some legs. And if, if there's anything that you learn from this about this terrible, terrible unicorn is that, you know, you can't really do it wrong with community. It's really about helping one another. And hopefully our next unicorn will be much, much better because man, this is a really sad unicorn. Oh man, that's... Sorry for the terrible <laughs> unicorn. Go out, support your community, support your local user groups, get on podcasts, have a good time. I think that's the, the answer. It's make heroes of the brave. And uh, if you're brave enough to come on here and draw a unicorn, then you've got my vote. So thank you, Josh. Thank you, GS. I know I'm a big fan of the Bee Brown Bag podcast and a lot of the other things they mentioned. So think about how you can be involved. It can be listening. It can be talking. It can be encouraging. These are great, great tips. So reach out and become part of the community. We thank you for being part of ours on Engineers Unplugged. We'll see you next time.